Hi there, Jamie Farmer, Pioneer Field Agronomist, West Central Missouri. Getting a lot of questions on soybean emergence status with a bunch of beans that have been planted there last part of March, first part of April. So here we are, April 14th, we're standing some April 1st planted soybeans in West Central Missouri. Thinking about GDUs and emergence for soybeans, we look for roughly 90 to 130 GDUs, depending on planting depth and variety before we start to see emergence. As you can see in this field, we have several of these soybeans starting to neck through today. And really, overall, things look pretty good across West Central Missouri. If you're out there and you're digging around in the field, you wanna see where you've got nothing mushy, no rotten looking, squishy parts of that plant. Things need to be white and firm, good growth. And uh, we see that here in this field, and we've seen it in several of the fields, also planted even later in that April 5th and 6th time frame. The biggest issue when it comes to soybean emergence is you want to avoid a cold drink in that first 24 hours. And I feel like we've avoided that for the most part, any imbibitional chilling with, uh, with what we're seeing here planted prior to that rain on April 7th. The other things you worry about sometimes too with early planted soybeans are different fungal diseases such as pythium and sudden death syndrome. So utilizing a good seed treatment like we have here with a good fungicide treatment to help us fight that pythium and then also having Ilevo on these beans to help us avoid any sudden death syndrome issues later on down the road. The cooler temps that we've had after April 7th until now have helped us to avoid any of the fast rotting fermentation processes that you can see. Those cooler temps slow down that fermentation process. So I think that's why we're seeing such healthy plants coming through right now. So overall things look pretty good. We've got a ways to go, but things are moving along and look forward to, to seeing how things progress here over the next, over the next several days. If you've got any questions, you can go to pioneer.com. You can also reach out to your local Pioneer sales professional. And again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We look forward to seeing you in the field. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.